Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, short uh, bootcamp, uh, sorry, short uh, orientation of uh, project mentorship. Uh, so am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir, you are audible, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, how did you get, did you get the mail for joining this uh, uh, orientation session? Is it? Yes. Sir. You got a mail. Calendar invite. So calendar mail. mail. Mail we have got a calendar also it was there. Hmm. Okay, fine. I just wanted to make sure if the mail was sent. So this is okay. for Mad One. No, it is for actually Mad One, Mad Two, uh, okay. both. Okay. Okay. Uh, just so could uh, create Mad it with. Sorry. Only for Mad One, Mad Two, sir. Uh, uh, I mean, see, the thing is, uh, for the ML projects also, the structure of a uh, uh, bootcamp remains same. So yeah, if there are students who are taking. Uh, 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 what we call uh, one mentor, to one. mentorship, one-to-one -one mentorship for uh, uh, ML projects also can, uh, you know, understand from this session. Okay. It is one and the same thing. Uh, the structure more or less remains same. Okay. okay, sir. okay. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay. I just had a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, have the payment started for one-on-one -on -one sessions? Uh, yeah, so what happens is, I'll just go, come on to that. First, let me explain everything about uh, what this mentorship is about, then how we are going to take payments and everything, and uh, how will the allotments done, how soon they will be done, and uh, okay, from when you can start working on it. Okay, I just so that will be the agenda. Seven. That's what I wanted to ask. Sorry? I actually have a meeting right now. So that's why I just wanted to ask if the payment has started. Okay, so you can watch the recorded session after some time, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay, so I uh, I'll just go through the uh, the agenda of the session. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have anything to present as of now. But uh, anyways, so it is a uh, you know a very short uh, orientation that I wanted to do because a lot of students have uh, you know confusions as to what uh, mentorship is all about and how to go about it and uh, uh, when to register and things like that. Right. So in this uh, sh uh, short session, we will try to understand why we are having mentorship. Okay, uh, uh, who will be taking mentorship? Okay, when you can register for mentorship? Uh, things like payments and everything we will discuss. Uh, once you make a payment, how soon you will get a slot? And uh, what you have to do actually to uh, you know make sure that you get slot uh, uh, as soon as you make payment. All right. So all these things we will try to discuss. Apart from that, if there are any queries from your end, then we will. Uh, uh, audio issues? Is anybody having audio but, issues? Yes, but no, sorry no. to interrupt. We have already hmm. paid, sir. We have paid on 31st. Yes, before 31st January, it was supposed to be paid and we paid. I paid before 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what, right? So that's what I said. I started with, there are some confusions with it, right? So okay. I will try to clear those. Okay. So, uh, okay, so I'll start off with what uh, uh, what we are to, trying to do with uh, this mentorship, okay? So mentorship is uh, basically, okay, so you can raise your hands, I'll take uh, once uh, uh, once I'm done with speaking, okay? Uh, so uh, so there are basically uh, one thing that is there to for the, you know, app dev and ML projects, that is the actual project that you have to do. All right, now, uh, while we have instructor sessions, uh, it is also uh, not really possible for instructor to go through each and every, uh, you know, uh, the work of each and every student because uh, sharing on the screen is uh, a problem, right? So for that, what we do is we provide uh, mentors to you in a way that you can uh, uh, discuss with them as to how to meet, how to arrange uh, for the for the mentorship, okay? What kind of guidance uh, that can be taken from these mentors and then uh, have it one-to-one -one basis so that you can share screen and you make sure that nobody else is watching uh, the code. Right. So <clears throat> once the registrations and everything is over, what we do is <clears throat> we allot you mentors. OK, so these mentors are the ones who will actually uh, explain you what the project is about, although these things are also covered in our parallel project sessions. But uh, uh, we also make sure that uh, uh, students who have queries which were not uh, asked during project sessions are covered in these sessions. OK, so once you start uh, uh, with your mentor, you can uh, uh, ask them anything that is related to your project, anything that you want to implement. So you might gain some uh, guidance on how to go about it, right? What are the things that I need? 
and how you want to uh, uh, you know do certain things that can be asked with the help of mentors okay so all the mentors that we have for the project are actually <clears throat> some previous term students which have done really good in their project and uh, therefore uh, have a good experience on how project is done both mat and mat two and uh, ml right and uh, they would give you very good guidance because they have actually gone through this uh, particular journey of creating project right so uh, we are planning to based on the registrations of student we are planning to do allotments uh, to is uh, as 1 to 15 uh, students right so one mentor would have 15 mentees as such and that will not be any issue because uh, it doesn't matter how many are there uh, you will be connected with that mentor one to one okay so uh, i mean we wanted to start it by week 3 but as the the orientation happen uh, 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 soon what we will do is we'll start off uh, once we Uh, take the registrations and other payments and all that, right. uh, all those things. Okay, so we will try to do it as soon as possible. Although we are going to going into, we are already into week three now, but we from tomorrow probably it is starting. So we will make sure that most of the things are sorted till then, and uh, uh, we try to give uh, a mentorship as soon as possible. Okay, so this is uh, what is about mentorship, right? So you uh, get a proper personal guidance for your project. based on the question statement that you are working and there will be one to one sessions where you can connect with mentor and ask your personalized personalized doubts okay you can share your screen uh, get a guidance on for example if you are getting any error uh, sharing screen on a normal or a general instructor sessions is uh, a problem right so you can share your screen there let them know what the problem is uh, and get the flow or get it corrected okay so that is what we are planning uh, to happen in uh, mentor sessions okay so that is about uh, how mentor sessions are going to happen now let us come to the payment so what we had done is we uh, thought of taking payments in windows all right so there will be certain windows which will be open where you can make payment uh, initially those who were actually those who actually went through mentorship or had some idea about what mentorship is they could make payment when the portal was open now the portal is closed right so it is i think it closed on 31st jan as you mentioned so we will again open the portal in windows let's say 10 to 15 days windows where you can make payment and then uh, opt for mentorship all right so for now we have uh, a set of uh, students for which we can provide uh, mentorship directly but we will also uh, you know make allotments in real time okay what does that mean for example if uh, the payment window starts from tomorrow let's say 5th of february so and somebody uh, makes payment on 6th so we will try to uh, it's not that we will wait for the deadline of that win, uh, window to get over all right uh, once we receive the payment once the confirmation of the payment is done we will try to allot mentors within two days okay so it is students responsibility to make sure that once my payment is done i keep on pinging uh, instructors and uh, 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 the support team to get the mentor allotted okay i mean that is uh, it's not completely our responsibility also it is our responsibility to get you a mentor as soon as possible but uh getting us uh, you know giving us the idea that you have made payment will help that a lot okay so along with that those who have already made payment, payment how do we like uh, approach you like you must have already a list right 28 to yeah. the deadline initial yeah yeah so what about that to so, like those who have already made payment should we like also uh, mail support no no that's okay so now we have the list we don't have to you don't have to worry about it uh so once the mentorship starts uh, and then you might want to get mentors as soon as possible right so that's what i'm saying so now what we do is once the new uh, mentorship uh, window starts payment window starts we will also float a form along with that okay where will there will be general information about your payment uh, things like uh, for what course and everything one payment and Uh, there has to be a screenshot i mean the detail form will be shared with you uh, not uh, required for the, uh, those who have already made payment but the ones who are seeking for payment and seeking for mentorship now all right so you will be having a uh, a form that you have to fill which will take some uh, which will be actually with the instructor to make sure that okay this person has made payment and uh, we are uh, so it will be on us to give you mentors as as soon as possible okay now one thing is uh, while we keep on opening this windows uh, we will try to open it uh, as late as possible we try to keep it open as late as possible but it would be my humble suggestion and humble request to everybody that do not uh, you know see so when you are in week 5 week 6 of the project you understand that whether you will feel uh, i mean you understand that whether you need a mentor or not 
right it's not uh, on the last day of the submission you can you suddenly wake up and then you uh, you know come to know that i needed a mentor so please don't do that uh, try to get mentor as soon as possible so that we provide see so since we are taking payment from you we would like to provide you mentorship for a longer period of time all right so and long by with longer period i mean which which will give you also time to work on project which will give mentors also time to arrange proper sessions with you right so all those things are there there is a reason uh, why we want uh, to keep this payment uh, window as uh, open as latest as possible uh, i would suggest everybody to not uh, you know uh, make use of that window as, uh, as latest as possible right make payment as soon as possible because at some point you know that you need mentorship okay uh because what will happen for example the deadline for this uh, jan 24 project is uh, 31st march right so if the student uh, registers for that on uh, let's say last 10 days of march uh, he or she will get only 10 to 8 to 10 days to actually you know get uh, started with the project okay that is not what we are aim okay so you should be able to at least uh, uh, make use of uh, mentorship or register for mentorship before 15th of march okay so that you get you get at least 15 days before the uh, final you know uh, deadline of the project comes in okay so that is uh, what is it about uh, then uh, uh, what about uh, uh, okay so that is what i wanted to give about mentorship okay i cleared about uh, payment also and about the windows also how we are going to take okay so is this going to be like one hour session a week what are we going to do uh the is mentorship the session mentorship yeah like will it be like a one no, no. hour session see so see so uh, how is it going to start is uh, uh initially when the mentorship start, starts it will be you will be having a uh, uh, open session uh, in the last term we had open sessions but since we are you know taking students at different uh, you know different way uh, i mean different time it's not that everybody is registering and we are starting uh, the same Yeah, you know, with the registrations to all the students, that is not happening. Uh, every day we might receive more students, so it's not possible to give you an open session. For that, you have to understand or go through the uh, instructor sessions, right? Uh, we will the mentorship will directly start with one-to-one -one sessions. Okay? So uh, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, whether what will be the duration of sessions and things like that. The mentorship duration provided to you will be uh, five hours for the term. okay so the payment that you make one second five hours in whole term okay yeah so it will be uh, a duration of total 5 hours you will get as a mentor uh, one to one mentorship for the term all right now you can decide how to break it into different parts uh, connect with mentors and uh, 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 you know arrange sessions okay you don't have to arrange anything you just have to connect with your uh, mentor to uh, let you, let them know that where, when during the week you are available okay it can be once a week it can be twice a week doesn't matter what the frequency is the sum total that you will be getting is 5 hours okay and that is more than sufficient because we had previous term experience a uh, lot of students could do their project with 3 to 4 hours of mentorship okay and it's not that uh, um, so yeah i'll come to that how 5 hours are calculated so um, uh, what you have to do is for example this mentorship the one to one session that you are going to have is basically it's not that the students are uh, sorry the mentors will teach you something okay they will not uh, i mean uh, doubts like sir i am not very good with uh, database management i am not very good with apis those things will not be entertained right because it is a five hours mentorship what are the doubts you should ask what are what should be the real uh, doubts uh, in front of mentors so this is my project i am getting stuck at this point okay this is uh, this is a functionality that i want to achieve let me know how do i do that okay uh, this is a model that i have created uh, i want to connect it with this relationship let me know how to do that okay uh, things like that right uh, i want to uh, for example if you are uh, really interested in styling the application then you can look at sir this is my uh, application i want to you know locate this part of my page to this place how do i do that all right the, those things so these are more related to mad one when you comes when you come to mad two uh, uh, how do i uh, you know uh, integrate salary with my application okay what do what needs to be put in the uh, you know daily reports or monthly reports that we are going to share okay how do i make routes i want to create a different route for this page how do i do that okay how do i make sure that i uh, implement rbpc correctly 
okay so all these are the, the all these are doubts which can be very easily entertained and cleared within the uh, mentorship uh, duration only okay now that if you go to the mentor session and tell them sir i don't know sql alchemy please explain that that is not going to happen because sql alchemy by itself takes 10 hours of sessions right so i hope you have those who have gone through mad one those sessions uh, might know it okay so you have to use it wisely it is just like a you know prepaid recharge that you do on your cell phone Okay, so you recharge for 300 rupees, you make sure that uh, the 300, the court talk time that you get for 300 are well managed and well used. You talk only sensible. Okay. So should we use our mentorship? Okay, sorry. there is no, uh, there is no specific uh, day or time that will be provided to you by mentor. It will be your choice. When you, should you have session? How frequent, frequently you want to have sessions? Okay. The sessions don't need to be one hour long. They can be a five minute, 10 minute session. Okay. So that is how uh, you will have your mentorship. Okay. And this is what is required. So we don't want to do hand holding. We just want to make you jump from the small ditches that you're getting. Right. So that is the uh, thing. That is the whole objective of mentorship. Okay. Now there was a question that how do we uh, calculate the time? Okay. So what we do is the mentors uh, and uh, for example, there is a session uh, decided with the mentor and the mentee right so the moment mentee joins the mentor starts uh, counting the session so it is not a you know very rigid clock that is going on just like an exam but it, it will be very uh, similar to that right so roughly the uh, you know the mentors will know the okay this session went on for 15 minutes this session went on for 25 minutes this session went on for one hour and that is how they calculate right so it will be roughly five hours not exactly five hours and uh, not exactly the top time that you get on the cell phone right so that is how it is going to get calculated. So mentors will take care of that. And on your end, just to make sure that you get right amount of time, uh, you can also, uh, you know, calculate that. Okay. So uh, that, that is what I wanted to give. I'll just start uh, taking question at this point. Okay. If there is something that I missed, that will be clear by questions. Okay. Uh, there are some questions on chat also. I will cover that also. But uh, let me go to the raised hands first. Uh, Anand. Anand Ballab. Not here. I'll come back to you, Anand, if there is an audio issue. There is. Yeah, you told like uh, uh, from tomorrow the fees will be enabled, right? Uh, not really from tomorrow we'll try to do that but i'm just saying uh, that uh, the mentorship is uh, the the allotment of mentor is not directly linked with the deadline of payment all right so we open a window let's say tomorrow this is just an assumption that we are opening a window tomorrow and we are ending it on let's say 10th feb so uh, you don't have to wait till 10th feb to get the mentor allotted it will happen in real time Okay, so let's say you uh, register or make the payment today and you fill the form that we are sharing. We will, it will be our responsibility uh, and our responsibility meaning sometimes it might get late because we are dealing with a lot of students, but we will make sure that you get mentors as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Hello. Hello, sir. Anand is saying. Okay. Yes, Anand. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible now. Uh, my specific question was, sir, when, I mean, what will be the date for uh, submitting this project? Uh, 31st March. Okay, 31st March is the last date. Uh, because somewhere I am seeing in the, you know, uh, the provided links that first batch in February, then uh, it is not like that, right? For everyone, it is 31st no, no, see, so, March. Yeah, yeah. For everyone, it is 31st March. It's just that we will start taking the submission and start processing them uh from now on right so from the okay. early deadline that you have okay okay and my second question is from when these mentors will be <coughs> allocated to us yeah so we are planning to start uh, uh the payment once again uh by the way have you made payment for that yes i already did it i think four or five days back okay 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 fine so uh it just got delayed because i wanted to have this orientation session before we start anything so okay. we will do it uh, uh we'll we'll do it within this week okay Okay, so we will get a mail for that, right? Will the matter be same which I had in my last project, Mad One project, or uh, it will be anybody randomly uh, assigned? No, 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 not same. I mean, I cannot guarantee that. 
okay okay uh, it can differ it can be same not a, not a okay. problem with okay. that okay, okay. so from a couple of things from mentors uh, side also what will happen yeah. is all your i mean this is to everyone all the um, uh, for example if you are a mentee to the mentor what will happen all the mentees including the mentor will be a g space of that will be created so that if there is a something if there is a doubt that is you know uh, just a statement long so you don't have to come to a meeting for okay so a g space okay. for the mentors uh, and the mentees respective mentees will be created and that will be managed everything by the mentor itself okay okay okay, okay. thank you sir Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shreya. Uh, yeah, sir. So I had a doubt. Uh, so uh, what? Ex when does the viva one and two happen? Does it happen after our due date on the thirty first? Uh, that was my first question. And the second hmm. question was: uh, Is there any other form of submission besides the final code and the video and the requirements mentioned? So is there any weekly submission or is it just a final submission along with viva? it will be a final submission uh, see if there are any project related doubt we can skip for now because anyway uh, when you get a mentor allotted if you are planning to have mentorship that will be very clear to you that will be very clearly to told to you or all these things will be also dealt with in the instructor uh, project sessions okay? okay so don't worry about this uh, yeah i mean just now that you have asked the question uh, there will be only one submission okay uh, okay. and one valid submission you cannot submit multiple times which is different from lab assignment lab assignment you can decide how many times you want to submit right but uh, uh, the the project has to be submitted only once all right and the submission window is different from the deadline we can start make, taking submission processing them i mean those who have done the project why to wait for 31st march right so we'll start taking their submission process them uh, 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 schedule level 1 and level 2 vivas if possible okay and obviously that will be done okay but okay. deadline you don't have to worry about the you know the different windows given the final deadline is 31st march submit before that and you get your uh, level 1 and level 2 viva scheduled accordingly all right okay thank okay. you your vivas obviously will be scheduled once you make submission after that okay understood yeah thank you uh okay thanks uh, uh, sai charan Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, actually, my doubt is, uh, can I utilize these five hours until March thirty first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. So uh, that's what, right? So it will end only when there is the deadline when you are not eligible for submitting the project. Okay. okay. So it. So for example, it starts for tomorrow. If you get a mentor tomorrow, uh, these are just you know suppositions, right? So if you get yes. a mentor tomorrow, you can use it till thirty first March, till okay. the deadline of project. Okay. Okay. So that's what. So you can decide how uh, frequently I want to have mentor sessions. Okay. The okay. doubt that I have can it be resolved by just asking in G space or will it require somebody else to look at it? All right. So okay. based on that, you'll arrange meetings. And so, yeah. And one last thing. Okay. Like there is an extension match. What is like new? Uh, see, the thing is, yes, there is an extension batch, but uh, again. Uh, if I say that, okay, there is an extension batch, which will go on till 15th April. In some sense, uh, what will happen is uh, uh, the idea of, uh, I mean, there will be a lot of crowded in that part, right? Uh, so yes, we sir. don't want to uh, really push it to that point. But if it is really necessary, then only we'll, based on the submissions that we have, based on the students uh, that are actually wanting to get it extended, then only we'll open it, okay? Otherwise, my suggestion would be uh, to get it done by 31st March. Uh, with mentorship, uh, uh, a period around 50 days should be sufficient to get the project done. Okay. And yes. I'm to only talking about core requirements, not everything. Yes. That's all. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Naren? Sir, Naren, good evening, sir. Sir, I have yeah, two I... questions. Sir. One is uh, even last time when we were discussing on the uh, MAD 2 theory session regarding the project, that 120 marks uh, issue was there, sir. Uh, you were telling that it has to be submitted on February 28th. If you submit, uh, it will be graded for 120. Mm -hmm. But uh, and same uh, as per the grading document, uh, it clearly says uh, uh, we finish the project in the same term as theory course or subsequent term of theory course. You will evaluate mm -hmm. the project to 120 marks. Whether right. that still holds or before the 28th uh, February, you have to submit to get that. No, uh, no, no. The one, oh, the one given in grading document will hold. Okay, so I confirmed that in the last uh, project session also. 
okay so i did not uh, interact with mad to people right okay yeah so that was the update right so you will be evaluated out of 120 uh, in the uh, in the same term of theory course and the subsequent term the one given in graded document okay so no deadline of 28 february to be taken care uh, i mean to be looked at when you make submission yeah that was a very nice uh, information you given me i was really worried sir okay uh, second mm-hmm. thing is we have paid uh, this uh, mentorship fees before 31st mm-hmm. of january okay. and i request you to allot us uh, the mentor uh, at the yeah yeah, yeah i'll start before. processing that straight away uh, that is the reason we had orientation today so that from tomorrow onwards we can start working on that yeah and right. if i may ask one more question regarding the mentorship not related mm-hmm. to the project the mlp right. uh, theory course i have opted for mentorship and paid the fees that is about 15 20 days back still okay. uh, mentor has not been allotted so it's already third week has been released right 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 uh, meanwhile yeah yeah so uh, as far as i know the mentor uh, sessions are uh, decided they will be released to you soon uh uh-huh. meanwhile uh, i got a email i mean in uh, g space mentor uh, dash admin at study.iitm.ac.in through actually i am also in mad to theory mentorship mm-hmm. he is one of the, that email is one of the member of that uh, g space i have also sent one message to him or her uh, whoever it is but it is not had been uh, uh, answer that because you are telling no you keep on pushing the support or so uh, instructors but yeah. uh, still that was yeah, not- that will that will happen right so i mean we uh, are in middle of lot of things happening right so the uh, jan uh, september uh, 23 extension window uh, uh, yvas are also happening right so uh, instructors are busy uh, and obviously we are on working on multiple things and that will be clear so as i said uh, the session uh, timetable for uh, all the diploma courses uh, are released right so released as in are decided so that will be shared to you as soon as possible and the links and everything will be generated according to that okay and uh, as far as the the mentor uh, sorry the course mentor is concerned so it's sunday today okay give him a day tomorrow probably he'll reply <laughs> sir we have sunday saturdays we are 24 bar 7 sir 365 anyway no no i just it suddenly uh, uh, on a lighter note you anyway, know thank you very much sir okay fine Brunmay. Yeah. So, uh, hi. So, I had a question. Uh, so, first of all, uh, I wanted to know because I was planning to do the Mad Two project uh, uh, mm-hmm. after twentieth of February. So, if I could, uh, I just wanted to know if I could uh, register for the mentorship program at that time. Because even if I uh, register right now, it, there is no point because I won't be able to attend the sessions. So, uh, mm-hmm. will the uh, thing for you know for Uh, signing up yeah yeah i understand your question yes it is it will be open but the thing is the uh, okay. yeah i mean you can do that nobody stopping you from that uh, mm-hmm. as i st- uh, stated in the you know in the beginning of the session the late you the later you register the you know the chance of getting mentorship or i would call you will get mentorship but uh, at efficient mentorship that leads you to do the project uh, that will be hampered okay so it's not that you cannot okay. do if you can manage your time for the project after 31st march uh, sorry 30 28th of february then uh, mm-hmm. it's just that you have to put efforts con- continuously right so your sessions will yeah. be more frequent than others yeah uh, that would be all okay. right because uh, i would be busy mm-hmm. with some other things before that so i uh, anyways won't be able to anything related right. to the project before it. yeah i mean see do not do it later than uh, 15th of uh, march right so i, I okay. my idea would be see mentorship even if you take a, a one hour session alternatively and start working on your project then you can at least work on some core requirements that's the reason i don't want to uh, want you your i mean i don't want students to take mentorship on the last week of the uh, submission okay we yeah. had lot of uh, registrations done uh, in the last term lot of registrations were done in the last uh, week of registration right so it becomes very difficult okay. to provide mentorship and sufficient sessions to uh, these students right i mean student would say that okay yeah. i made the payment i want the mentorship but you also see there is apart from uh, payment and money that is involved there is also time that is required uh, by the students and and also the mentor is will be handling more than one uh, more than 10 students if the registrations are more right so there has to yeah. be a, a, a proper connection and sessions and planning happening 
Okay, so once you, uh, you yeah. if you are sure that you can give sufficient time after twenty eighth February, uh, I won't stop you. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Also, I wanted to know uh, because uh, hmm. I completed my theory courses in uh, Jan twenty three semester, so uh, I wasn't able to do the mat to project uh, till now. But uh, now that I've hmm. signed up for this, I just wanted to know yes. whether my project would be evaluated out of one twenty marks or would it be hundred? Uh, see, yes. Yeah. So the current grading document is about the theory uh, and the subsequent right so there yeah. is no early deadline thing okay there is no thing that uh, if you submit before okay. 28th of february will be evaluated out of 120 and anyway you are starting after uh, after 20th february right? so there's no point yeah no actually uh, it's just that uh, uh, more than two semesters have passed between uh, my uh, completion of my theory course yeah, and right. the project now so mm -hmm. i just wanted to know what uh, what are going to be the final marks out of which i'm going to be evaluated so would it be 100 or oh, would it be 120? 100, 100. OK, OK, all right. OK, because Thank see, you. you have taken theory. I mean, you have finished theory course in Jan. And yeah. uh, you are doing project in the next Jan, right? So it's too long. Yeah, yeah, OK. OK. That's all. Thank you, yeah. See, 120 is, uh, 120 is like uh, something for the students who are really finding it tough, uh, it's like a motivation to them that, OK, you can do uh, some part of it, get good score, and get out of it, right? Uh, while mm -hmm. so many students are finding it very uh, good working on the project, there are so many students who are looking at project as if it is something very difficult that they cannot do. So it was just uh, I mean, given as a motivation for the students to do. I am not considering you uh, in that student's, right? Yeah. So it's. Uh, good that you go. I mean, it would be good if you give uh, proper dedication and it should be done. It should be you should be able to do it within a month. OK, considering that you start yeah. from the th uh, I mean, after 20th. Hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. That's. OK, Anil. Anil Kumar. Yes, sir. Um, am I audible? Sir? Yes, yes, you're audible. I took my uh, Abdev one project in last term, and I didn't mm -hmm. finish it. So it is carry forward to this uh, Jan term. Right. At the same time, I took Abdev two project in this term. Right. So uh, while registering for the mentor, when I got the uh, mail for the, uh, my first question is like, what would be my problem statement for uh, Abdev one and two? Because uh, we have two mm -hmm. options, right? Right. No, so for MAD 1, you don't have an option. It will be library management only. For okay. MAD 2, you have options. It can be music streaming or library management. Either of them. So it's my choice. Yeah, for MAD 2 only. Okay. Yeah. And sir, um, when I got mail for the last time for the registration of this mentorship, hmm. uh, I didn't got the options right. So I didn't uh, uh, took that. So would I be getting the form uh, to uh, access uh, library management for both apps, uh, app devs, and uh, can I register for the both projects at a time? You already did, right? So one got deferred and one you registered. So you're already no, registered. Not for the registration, for the mentorship, I said. Yeah, yeah. Mentorship, you can take both together. No issues. All right. But you have to register both differently, OK? OK, yeah. I understood. Hmm. Right. So the portal for AppDev2 uh, and AppDev1, there will be two different portal like this. Mm -hmm. OK, so mm -hmm. it's just that you have to, you know, make it uh, double. All right. Understood. Thank you. OK, Lokesh. Hello, sir. Yeah, I have taken MAT2 uh, project uh, in this term. Hmm. And as uh, now I have not started yet uh, working on my project. Hmm. Uh, and uh, for if I go for mentorship, so uh, at least 70 to 80 percent of the project should uh, I have completed uh, for this uh, to ask uh, functional issues only. I cannot, I can't ask uh, the six uh, there. Okay. Is that right? So uh, right now, if I take that uh, mentorship, so uh, it, uh, it, it will be no word to me. So if I take in, then it will be helpful. So is that a yeah. way to take a mentorship in next month also? 
see, it depends on you. It depends on uh, how many courses you have taken, how much time you can put in the uh, uh, the uh, the project, right? So it's that mentorship is like it's like uh, uh, a small helping that is done to you based on the content that you have learned. Right. So uh, if you have time, you can put sufficient time in the project. What you can do is go through all the live sessions, especially open sessions. Once again, uh, start working on your project wherever you get stuck. Uh, so as I said, there can be two ways you can clear your doubt based on the intensity of that doubt. Right. Sometimes uh, if you are going through a content that is very generic, it can be shared. You can simply ask in the G space wherever you are create where, uh, wherever you are allotted to. Right. If yes. not, if it is very relevant to the project, if it is, let's say, a model that you have to show to the uh, to the mentor, then it would be wise to, uh, you know, uh, have a meeting with him, set a meeting with him, get the things cleared. Okay, so that is how it going. It is going to be, and there is no, uh, uh, you know, we are not uh, allowing. Sorry, what what do we say? We are not saying that there is no point in taking mentorship. You can do it here also, but if you feel that you need more time to do the course. Then, uh, whenever you do the project, you take mentorship. Then, okay. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, mentorship is uh, is is required, but at the end, when we are at the end of our project, means uh, some functional issues are there or some uh, functions are not working. Mm -hmm. That time yeah. we require yes. that mentorship. Yeah, I understand that. But see, the regi once you do registration, it's not mandatory that you start taking their session, right? Okay. Registration is just to make sure that you get a place, uh, get a mentor. Okay. For example, if you work, you start a project uh, from this February only, and by end of uh, March, very close to deadline, you are facing issues. Then you can uh, arrange sessions. Just let the mentor know that I am there, but I want to do project there. Otherwise, you will be marked as inactive. Okay. okay. So see, there is also one more thing. This is for everyone. Uh, you take a mentor and you do not respond to them. Uh, that is, uh, you know, very strictly observed by us. Okay. Because see, for example, in this meeting, we have 98 students. All right. So and there will be a lot more watching it online in YouTube. There will be a lot more watching it later. OK. And there will be a lot more registering for the project uh, for project mentorship. OK. Now, in that case, we give mentors. We And what will be our objective to try to give proper and equal uh, uh, mentor support to each and every student. OK. It will not be obviously biased. So we want to give equal support. OK. So in that sense, it would be good if you uh, at least if you're not having those sessions with the mentor, you let them know that I'm active. You reply to them on the G space. I've uh, asked doubts in the G space. You let them know that you are there. OK, complete inactivity will uh, lead to cancellation of your mentorship without refund. That is what we have done in the last step. Sure, but okay. how do we it may not be very uh, sorry. But how do we like ensure like, for example, if we are focusing on completing our project, like largely whatever we can and then discussing it with the mentor and and during that time like say the mentor has been appointed to us what kind of discussions will happen in the g space in which we may be able to participate even if we do not have any doubt no no it's not about discussion it's about letting them know that you are there oh, okay yeah. okay so, so just, like, uh, that's what i said directly then we have to respond right yeah, yeah. So working. what will happen? We will, uh, yeah. So mentors will keep on pinging you. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. That has happened. And that we try to do that because see, we want everybody at least who have taken mentorship to get, uh, uh, you know, to be able to take the help of that mentor. Right. So we keep on pinging the students that, uh, uh, okay, what is the status of your project? You haven't replied uh, to the, uh, uh, you know, meetings we are creating. You haven't replied to the slots we are providing you. So you can reply to that. Okay. Give them a tentative date, sir. I'll be working after this. So works. Yes, right. Yes. Okay. Sir, our uh, regular registration is also going uh, with this. So, uh, which registration? Uh, Sorry. Uh, regular project sessions over uh, mat yeah regular project sessions will go on yes they are started yes, sir. okay sir. so that's what you make use of regular project sessions try to understand do the project wherever you face error uh, you can ask in g space if it takes more attention then you can set a meeting with mentor okay 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 sir okay hmm. uh sonath uh, yes, sir. Good evening. Just wanted to ask that in the grading documents, it is written that uh, 28th Jan to 28th Feb. That's the um, like timeline for submission. The last date for submission is 20th Feb. Hmm. So, and today, it's uh, you told that it's 31st March. So, so I'm just hmm. not understanding. 
saying that. No, no, it's 31st March. You refer to the timeline that is given in the same document, bottom. Okay, ah, okay. we'll change that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. so the 28th Feb uh, uh, deadline will be changed. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Shakti Kant. Uh, yes, I have a small question around the uh, slots that you can book with the mentors. So are there any restrictions on days or uh, probably the you know times? Because I am a working professional and I'm available on weekends. So is it possible to book the slots on weekends as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not an issue. Great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And yeah, we have actually taken uh, care of that. Most of the slots that generally mentors create are around weekends. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Uh, Daris, is that all, Shaktikan? You wanted to ask anything else, or should I? No, 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 no. That would be all. Thank you. Okay, Daris. Yeah, I had the same doubt that uh, deadline is not changed in the grading document. Yeah, yeah, we'll change that. We'll change it after this session. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. Thanks. So, so is... basically, your point of. Uh, I mean, your point of looking at deadlines would be the timeline that is given at the bottom. Okay, so you can act according to that. Okay, okay. Is there any, okay? But uh, hmm. yeah, yeah. Main topic in this similar to like, which, uh, is there like uh, music or library library management? Both are equal importance, or is there anything like main topic? Here? No, no, no. Both are same. Both will have equal weightage. Both will have their own rubrics to evaluate. Right. Okay. These two are two different topics and they will be evaluated on single scale it's not that people doing music streaming app would be evaluated out of more marks than the other one no not like that but uh, these are all independent question statements but it's uh, the uh, i mean it's like uh, an option given to you you can select any one of them and work on it okay uh, yes uh, k ramchandra hello i'm your audible sir yes yes yeah, so this is my first time uh, taking up Mad One project. So, okay. uh, yeah, according to my knowledge, what I know is that uh, I will be learning HTML and CSS through the Mad One theory, and I'll be applying that in Mad One project and submitting it, right? So, mm -hmm. at what point of time will I require a Mad One mentorship? Like, if I am getting everything in the theory courses. Uh, where can I get stuck that I will require your help? Can you just explain that? See, depends on you. You're taking the first time, but how? Uh, what is your experience with uh, these technologies? I know a bit of HTML and CSS. And uh, I don't know if I will be making the website in JavaScript or Python Flask. I, uh, I don't know about those things. So yeah, Have you not gone through the question statement? I've just I just know that I'll be handling a library management system, but I've not gone uh, into details. The question statement, attend project sessions. See, the more uh, all these things are provided to make uh, the question statement clear what you have to do, right? If you don't watch these sessions and then you look for mentorship and uh, all guidance from there, it might not help you uh, that much. Okay, as I said, mentorship is like is not a proper hand holding. It is just you know take you from the errors or, or hurdle that is coming up. Right. So most of the things you should know, but the integration, how do, to what extent you should know certain things, how do you integrate multiple components? Because the, the course is uh, spread along weeks, right? So how do you integrate? How do you uh, take these contents from each week and integrate them into an actual project is, uh, would, is what is a valid question for a mentorship. Okay. Uh, so, okay. I mean, so you should go through the question statement uh, properly. You should go through project uh, orientation, the project sessions that are happening. Okay. So all those things are there. Watch those. Then if you uh, and then implement based on that. Okay. If you feel that okay, I want somebody, a third person, to look at my uh, file and see what the issue is, uh, where I'm getting stuck. Then you would need a mentorship. Okay. Otherwise, there are forums Thank like uh, Mad One Project, right? So you can ask your doubts straight away. Okay, sir. Clear, no? Yeah. Okay. But see, uh, doing project, you should not skip any project based sessions. Okay, sir. Hmm. All right. Kavita? Uh, good evening, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, my uh, question is similar to uh, Ramchandra's question, a little different. 
uh, basically mm-hmm. how to make best uh, out of these uh, mentor sessions i wanted to ask that thing like what what are the do's and don'ts and what are like don'ts you have said something but anything any tips which will which we can help us uh, to make the make make us get best out of it yeah so see the doubts uh, which i focused on right uh, mm-hmm. what should be your doubts to a mentor it's yeah. not that see for example there are uh, for example you are doing a project on mat 2 okay go through question statement very carefully understand each and every bit of it okay mm-hmm. put some time in it uh, probably one week not more than that put some time meaning not a month right so you put a mm-hmm. week on it understand each and everything list out all the topics or all the uh, you know concepts that are required for the project okay that you have learned okay. from the course okay all right so okay. let's say uh, how would i do this i would go to the question statement which every with every page i would list down what similar to this i have learned in the course okay i'll just list mm-hmm. that down for every page Okay. okay then i would look for the open session for those topics okay all right look for all the open session for that topic try to implement everything once you are clear with that then you'll have a better idea on what you have to do with the project okay and right. this is the point where you will get stuck right so okay. this getting stuck will be cleared out by mentors okay okay directly okay. jumping on to the question statement reading it and then uh, going on to the mentor session and asking sir how do we do this that will be see it's not that uh, we cannot do that it's just that you will be wasting your five hours right okay right. the uh, i mean uh, the anatomy that i uh, analogy that i gave uh, for that would be a recharge right so you do a 10 rupee recharge and you talk you know how, uh, i mean things like how was the weather rather than talking out about the important thing you know, you will uh, you know your call will get cut right right thank you all right so you have to use this five hours in a way that uh, you uh, you clear only when you are stuck mm mm-hmm. okay? okay when you know the concepts uh, so mentorship expects you to know concepts mentorship will help you to get them integrated right okay that is, so yeah. that is how you can make best of the mentorship thank you sir okay pravin kumar yes sir um, my question is like um, by when we would come to know that who is our mentor and apart from that uh, like uh, what help we would be able to get from the mentors because yeah, so I completed my theory um, concept thing uh, long back so i think two semesters back from mm-hmm. then i have not completed it so uh, even i want of uh, some kind of refresher on that so uh, how can yeah, i yeah so that? to be honest that refresher i mean the uh, you know going through brushing up the com- com- uh, concepts will not be done by mentors okay, okay? see we have the lecture- lectures recorded and kept waiting for you to be watched on youtube all right Mm-hmm. so uh, while your dashboard may not be available for a uh, mat one for you or mat two whatever project you are doing for you but these videos are again available uh, on youtube okay mm-hmm. you can watch those and if you have any doubt i mean why uh, something was done this way or that way how do i integrate these two parts that uh, is something that will be uh, there i mean that will be uh, provided to you as a help from it okay in past one boot camp was done regarding mat one and mat mm-hmm. two both so yeah although i had like paid for that and uh, in time i had applied for that but i didn't right. get even uh, uh, like uh, invitation for that like if yeah i understand there was uh, okay so many student had that issue uh, yeah. we had also released a form regarding the discrepancy have you paid uh, i'm sorry have you yeah, filled, yeah, filled that form I filled that but uh, that is ending up with like refund of the fund but you know like yeah 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 more than that yeah, uh, yeah. The importance was like if if i could get chance to like um get that kind of thing so that way within a week i'll be able to complete my project so right 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 so the thing to... is yes sir please yeah yeah so the thing is uh, mentorship will be very similar to boot camp but mm-hmm. in boot camp what was uh, our objective it was seven day right so very less duration every day you have to be on the page where the mentors were okay Mm-hmm. in in project uh, mentorship uh, and the term that is going throughout the term especially this it will not be the thing right you can start and finish with your own pace 
okay so while you as i said to kavita a few minutes back right you have to go through question statement very thoroughly understand it what it is what it uh, demands from you what mm -hmm. type, what type of concepts from the theory course it is uh, actually uh, asking for you to know list them down uh, uh, you know start working on it based on the uh, application based on sorry based on the question statement start mm -hmm. working on it and the integration is where you'll get stuck Okay. So while you are getting stuck with, okay, I know how to create a form. I know how to create a backend for it. How do I connect these two things? This mm -hmm. is where uh, this is, this should be a question that you should ask a mentor and you will get a very good help on that. Okay. Okay. But still like, uh, uh, I have one suggestion, like in, by the end of this, um, like the session or uh, whatever, not session, but, uh, this semester, like when, um, this due date would be uh, like nearby. Yeah. So if mm. you could have one boot camp, um, mm. so that would help because by that time our homework would be ready and like. Um, yeah, I understand. So we are into discussion thing. of that. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see if we are able to sort the discrepancy first, right? We cannot have something very similar again, right? So if we, uh, if we are able to solve the discrepancy uh, quite big, uh, I mean, all the discrepancy that we are receiving from the bootcamp, if we are able to solve that, and probably we will be, and once that is done, we can think about having another bootcamp, okay? And yeah, this time now be. we know that what kind of issues students face, so we'll be extra cautious that th those things don't repeat. Sure, sure. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, so we'll let you know if there, are, if there is any boot camp in future within this term, we'll definitely let you know. Sure, sure. Thanks, sir. Okay, Guhan. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, I've gone through the project statement, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. It's okay. And I have some little queries on that. Uh, where do I, and how do I get it cleared, actually? Yeah, so which uh, uh, course, by the way, MAD1 or MAD2? Uh, it's MAD1. Ah, so mad one we have project sessions every friday four to six uh it should be there in your calendar uh, uh you can join actually, the I'm session not, ask her please actually i'm not getting those links actually that's a problem actually mm. why is that uh it is there right so those who are doing mad one uh project uh, you have the calendar uh, there right uh, can i get the link posted here sir yeah, yeah, in the... that. yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be by the way great. we have yeah we are not we have not gone much into the code we have just discussed question statement, okay? okay and okay. Uh, just discuss what will be the structure of project. So what I'll do is I'll share you the meet link for uh, project sessions, one thing. Okay. And uh, okay. second thing that I would do is I will share you the YouTube uh, playlist where we'll be adding uh, all the sessions, right? So you, in that sense, you'll have previous sessions also. In this in this group, in the chat box, right? Yes, I've shared the one second. Okay, okay. Uh, calendar group, it is there. Is it, it is there in the calendar? I am not getting it. Actually, just now some Carlton DC was shared it actually. Okay, it would be great. I'll take it from here. No problem. Okay, uh, somebody shared. Huh? All right. Yeah, so this is a Madwin project uh, calendar. Just uh, save this calendar. All those things. going every day? Available. Is it available every day, 4 to 6? No, no, no. Every Friday. So Every the, Friday. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the reason for that is uh, everything we do on one session may not, you may not be do it, uh, you know, every day. Right. Okay. So, okay. and we don't want things to pile up. So, we want to give uh, time for students to actually understand, take some time to uh, grab what is there, implement, have some doubts, mm -hmm. think about it, and still, if there is no, uh, these things are not getting clear, then ask it in the next session. Okay. I okay. actually somehow missed this one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. For Matt, too, anyone can share. I can also share, but uh, I would rather take doubts till then. Hari Prashant, oh, sorry, Prasad, sorry. Uh, good evening, sir. Um, can yeah. I have some mail ID or something so that whenever I have a doubt, I can just uh, you know send some mail? Because uh, I have seen that uh, some mail uh, details are given in the con uh, contact instructors, hmm. that, like Mr. Apishek and uh, uh, Narendra or something, some three names are given. So mm -hmm. whether this mail lady, if I if I can send some doubts whenever I have because I'm working, so I don't know when I will uh, my I get the free time. Whenever I get a free time, I, I start work. Then if I have any doubt, then I'll just drop a mail or something. Will they help us? Something mail or support? 
this is my mail id i'll try to help you your mail id sir sorry i have shared in the chat no no i have shared in the chat chat okay mm, and because in mobile i don't know where to i see it uh, can you just spell it sir, so that i could know sorry uh, uh, so on the bottom right you'll have a button just click on that then you will see in chat messages in call messages okay in call messages okay yeah, in call messages right okay right but because i send you know a mail okay okay um, i'll send this my doubts sir okay, okay. okay but uh, yeah so if now if you wish to have a mentorship uh, even hmm. even if you are a working professional you can find times in weekends work on it and there will be a dedicated mentor that will be helping you right so yes, sir, i already that paid sense, it no i ah, paid it fine. also i i i am weekend i am available but you know whenever right. i get stuck up so uh, instead of mm -hmm. you know waiting till the weekend and get right. my doubts clarified just to drop a mail if you are yeah. free if you could respond me i it will be great helpful so that i could not get stop yeah. on that place i can okay. proceed further right so see while my mail id is with you now what you can do mm -hmm. is once the mentor is allotted to you you will be mm -hmm. added to a g space Okay. okay and you will also okay. have email id for that mentor uh, too oh. right so you can mail okay. to the mentor add your queries in g space uh, okay. they are expected to get clear uh, there then more uh, okay. easier or faster than uh, if you mail to me right because okay. i might skip one or two mail but since that person will be your mentor uh, he is okay. ought to reply to you right okay fine fine okay if there is no if there is something operational that the person is not uh, that the mentor is not able to clear then you can uh, get back to me with this email id all right okay right sir because when i was writing uh, you know uh, the lab 2 assignment i got a error mm -hmm. for the first uh, html but the same mm -hmm. code i used it and you know with uh, css that has gone mm -hmm. through without any error so i don't know why the, my first file First file, the HTML file got some error. That is because uh, see, CSS is for I got your error also. Matter, right, right. I understand. CSS is for your practice. Doesn't matter okay. whatever you put, it will give you still marks. HTML okay. is graded, so it has to make sure that everything is uh, actually matching the question statement. Okay, and okay. that is the reason we have uh, all the test cases uh, given to you. That will be a feedback to you. Actually, what went wrong? Okay. Okay. Uh, so similar discussions are happening. Sorry, I got a feedback also, but I try to locate it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it because if you test check, uh, sorry, uh, test case to check the headers of the table. Status is fail, wait it is two, but there is a header is there. I got the display mm -hmm. as per the you know whatever maybe your requirement as per the uh, the PDF file. The same output has also come. Um, I don't know if okay. can, can you can you go through can you go go to the screenshot and see if uh, what you have done is exactly like that? Okay, just try to copy the. Uh, I mean, try to see if it is matching with the screenshot that is also there with the question statement. Okay, otherwise I'll uh, I'll send you mail. Can you uh, respond? Can you reply me that one? one yeah, fine. Question? And uh, uh, for your information, the deadline has been extended. Okay, so you will have more time. No, I submitted. Uh, it is all everything is cleared. It is ninety six percent or something. It is giving, mm -hmm. but still that four percent. I don't know. Uh, that's that's not a thing. But anyway, um, I'll forward this mail. Can you help me this one? Yeah, I'll try to go through it. Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. Uh, yes, Sonat. Sir, I was just asking that if we have two meetings at the same time, like I have multiple subjects, hmm. so suppose if we have in clashes of meetings, so can it be rescheduled or like the battles can be changed? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So that's all right. Exactly you part. want to, for example, you had a meeting, but for some reason the mentor was not available at that time. For some reason you were not available. Just let the mentor know, and it will be rescheduled. It is not I'm like not viva. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that suppose I have system command mentorship also, and suppose mm -hmm. both of them happens on the same day, like math one mentorship and that, both of them falls on the same day. So 
so can one be rescheduled or can i be shifted so to which some mentorship other are you talking about see because uh, course mentorship they are set right they are uh, meetings that you can join i mean they have to you have to join in a scheduled time but mentorship uh, one to one mentorship uh, as far as abdev is concerned you can set according to your uh, availability right so you don't have to but, wait for any scheduled meeting i know no sir i'm saying that suppose i have a meeting uh, like a wetness day tuesday and thursday and that, that's the same day that's what i'm saying that is course mentorship meeting that is not yes, project sir. mentorship ha huh, so can it be rescheduled uh or, or can it be changed like to another batch permanently that you'll have to check with the mentor i'm not very sure about it see the thing is uh those sessions nothing will be taught right you can if for example yes, if you sir. miss a wednesday session you can attend another session get your query cleared and drop it so it won't be like let's say see uh -huh. the sessions are scheduled for an hour or let's say two hour right so it's not that you have to join at the starting time something will be taught to you and you drop off that is not going to happen in mentor sessions even if it is uh, yes, what is yes. going to happen you join in you ask your doubt once your doubts are cleared you can drop off okay, okay. Sir. that okay, you can do with you. both the uh, meetings happening and that is the reason uh, there is a possibility that two subjects mentor sessions can happen together because what will happen let's say 5 to 6 there are two subject mentor session uh, system commands in app what will you do five you join system commands get your queries clear clear drop off join app dev get your clear queries clear drop off like that uh, okay okay there won't be any okay. content delivery happening sir mentor uh, okay. is open mentor is open uh, yeah. स्टार्टिंग we want we would like to open it by uh, this week only okay? okay so as soon as it is possible it will be open today okay sorry i could not uh, i i could yeah, join so this late, meeting so is could... recorded this meeting is recorded for the reason that th those who could not but, attend but it, watch it. But, no, but it is not showing in the calendar it is you yes, in... oh is it not showing in calendar yeah, yeah. yeah. is it for mat 2 or mat 1 no no here mat 1 Ah, uh, because I created for course, but for the same reason I had, uh, uh, I mean, I mailed to all the students, right, registered for project and everything, and uh, the same threads are created in this course also. No, no, I am okay. telling the in in the calendar the meeting link is not showing, YouTube link. Yeah, yeah, I YouTube link is not showing. Okay, so we'll share the YouTube link is here. Okay. 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 Thank you. This is the YouTube link. You can watch it later. No, no, I, I, I. just copied it but hmm. yeah so the reason it is not showing because the event was cre created with only one id right so i could have, could do it only with one id but uh, all the resources will be uploaded again on this course uh, to all the mad one mad two project uh, this thing okay uh, sir okay. i have added it into the project playlist hmm. all right okay so the uh, the link and everything is added you can uh, watch it okay thank you yes prakash Uh, sir uh, actually i just registered for mad1 and mad2 project for hmm. mad1 i registered in september 2023 uh, term but i didn't unfortunately i was not able to complete or even start that now okay. i joined the mentorship in uh, boot camp and already completed uh, with the, the library management system but the question is in the portal i could see only uh, for 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 mad1 portal uh, project portal i can see the project name as music system streaming app hmm. uh i don't know whether i can submit the library no 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 you can submit don't worry that will be updated okay so you have deferred it to jan 24 right you yes. will be able to submit we are updating the portal uh, hmm. it will be available okay and one more thing uh, the project submission I mean, date is deferred can you let me know when when is the submission date 31st march i mean you mean 31st march would be the deadline deadline So the the project should be uploaded in the portal by thirty first March. You saying that? Yes, Or before that. Before yes. that. Okay. When when the portal will be open? Some fair idea? Uh, in a couple of days. 
okay so actually yeah. we are registering so this registration happens in batch and with the you know the extended batch of uh, september 23 that happened in that took submissions in 20 this jan 21 okay. to 25 right so we had okay. to wait till then okay okay so okay. by so the vibers are going by on. first week first week of april is the first batch we should upload right 1 to 5 that is the time frame right first week of april oh sorry when, i got when, confused with the pdm sorry 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 sir Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Submitted by thirty first March. Okay. okay. Yeah. For both Madhu and Madhu. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank Same deadline. Yeah. Yeah. Anuprati. I just wanted to ask if this meeting is also covering the MLT projects, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship. yeah so the structure which i mentioned will remain same if there is anything specific to mlt uh, i may not be able MLP. to do answer that hmm. okay. mlp i will not be able to answer okay but the structure for mentorship will remain same the mentorship will start uh mentorship for mlt so it will start along with uh, app dev so you can expect it uh, by this week only all right thank you okay jatin Yeah, hello. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Yeah. Uh, so I haven't received any link for the mentorship. I registered for both Mad One Theory and Mad One Mentorship for the project, and I haven't received any link for either of them. Yes. So you will because uh, in the starting of the session, I mentioned that we have received uh, the list of students who have registered for mentorship. We'll be processing. So I, will, as I said, we will be starting and uh, loading everything. Uh, I mean, all the students assigning allotment, and this would start by end of this week. Okay. Okay. So classes haven't started yet, right? No, no, no. Not for Madhu. All right. That's thank you. Uh, Jalaj. Yeah, sir. Is there any ref refund? Is there any refund for what mentorship? Yeah. I mean, I did not get your question. Sir, I mean, uh, when we register for any course mentorship, we pay two thousand and we get one thousand refund, right? Hmm. Oh, so right. Any yeah. So see, if you if you make a payment of two thousand, I think there will be. I I need to make sure. I mean, I need to confirm this, but uh, that's what has happened, right? So I think there will be. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hari Prasad. Uh, sir, you have already responded me, sir. I'm. Uh, yeah, actually, I saw your hand raised, so that's why I asked you. Okay. Thanks. I lower it. That is. Sir, uh, for me in the portal. Uh... submission is not enabled yet it will be it will be that's what so portal will be updated uh, we are working on it to some students it will def it, it is still showing to some student it is not so we will make sure that it is available for all okay give us one okay. or two days it will be available okay okay thanks and and in this course also i'm not able to create any posts uh, why is that uh, have you been able uh, have you been um, uh, registered with your study id and not online degree id just do that in this course you are saying no no i have taken uh, one more course as a business analytics in that i am able to create post on in mat two project uh, tab i am not able to create post okay you you registered for the project right you have registered yeah yeah okay we'll have to note this because i'm not very sure of this we'll have to note and put it forward okay i'll have to get back to you on this hmm? Okay. Do you need my mail ID or something? Yeah, that would be good. Okay, I'll put it in chats. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah. So I'll check. Uh, and uh, if possible, we'll be able. Uh, we'll respond to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Hmm. Hari Nath. Yeah, sir. My project window is showing. Grocery store application statement and library management system also. Hmm. So which Mad one two. should I choose? Mad two is it? Mad one. Mad one. Mad two, right? Yes. Yeah. So see, the thing is. No, no. This uh, is mad one. 
So, Mad One, uh, how are you able to see two projects? See, you have actually, to go sir, on the top I'm tab. Not completed in May. That's okay. Yeah, even if that's you have not completed. In May. Yes. Uh, even if you have not actually, completed. Actually, I registered for me. Okay, you go ahead, please. You go ahead. Yeah, actually, I registered for May term, May 2023, but I didn't complete it. Hmm. Then I again registered for Jan 2024. Then there, hmm. there is showing two problem statement. One is for hmm. the uh, grocery store and second one is for the uh, library management. Yeah, so you have what to work on library management. One. Yeah, you have to work on library management because okay, for my uh, there is only one question statement. No, yeah, so okay. for different terms, you may be because see, your registrations do not uh, get deleted from our end. You have to open the Jan 24 term uh, okay. uh, window, uh, dashboard and submit on that. Okay. 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 All right. So even for Kavita, okay, so what I, I said was. Actually, there is a lag with uh, Harinath and me, right? Sir? Yeah, go ahead, Harinath. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I have. Your voice is breaking. Is it for me or anyone else having the same issue? Yes, sir, his voice is breaking. Harinath, your voice is breaking. Uh, can you please uh, no. check it? Okay. Sir. Can you try again? So I haven't been able to uh, reply on chat. Is uh, there I anything that I've not replied to? Uh, I'm not covered in what I was speaking. Just let me know, okay? Harinath, go ahead. Yes, yeah, actually, I'm asking that. So I have to work on the latest one problem statement, not over. No? The latest is the okay. library management. And yes, one yes. Is so mad one. Yeah, mad one. Only one project statement, no choices. Okay, so whichever comes in Jan 24 okay. tab, you have to submit on that. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Uh, in my uh, window, I have only uh, uh, September 23 MAD 1 and uh, May 23 mm -hmm. MAD 1. Uh, Jan 24 MAD 1 is not there. Yes, yes, it will be updated. That's what I said, right? For some student, it is updated. For some student, it is still in process. Okay. okay. So there are so many other students who are facing the same issue and uh, uh, we are in process. So that's what okay. I said. Give us a couple of days and it will be updated. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no hands raised. Anybody else? Any other query regarding mentorship? Okay. So let me just summarize. Uh, mentorship will, uh, those who have already paid, we will start processing uh, their mentorship. Okay. We will assign mentors and uh, allot them uh, the right mentees and everything. It will start by end of this week. Okay. In a couple of days, we will try to open the payment portal again so that those who could not pay in the previous uh, window can start uh, making payments. Okay, so once that is done, we'll keep the payment portal open uh, for some more time. I mean, uh, it should be, uh, I mean, there is no kind of deadline for that. We'll try to keep it open as late as possible, but it would be your responsibility to make sure that you submit, uh, sorry, register for it uh, as soon as possible. Okay, the, whenever you start working on project. This is just because we don't want you to take mentorship and not get, uh, uh, you know, right help from it because you're doing it very late. All right. Uh, the submission window would open uh, in some time, but it will go on till 31st March, right? So the deadline is 31st March. Don't uh, uh, at this point, do not look at that extension window. We would not want to go on to that. It will open based on the submissions uh, that are left. Okay. Based on the, uh, you know, students that are left to submit. Okay. But uh, my suggestion would be you try to submit by 31st March. Okay. Uh, project mentors uh, will be allotted to you. Once they are allotted, there will be again, uh, once you make a payment, there will be a form that you have to fill, which we will share. Okay. Uh, making sure uh, or this will give us an acknowledgement that, uh, okay, the, the person has uh, made the payment and we have to process its mentorship. Okay. So mentor, we'll try to allot you mentor as soon as possible once you make the payment and you will be added to that particular mentor G space where you can ask your queries. 
uh, if the queries are very short and can be answered with a couple of lines, right? If uh, you want the students to, sorry, if you want the doubt to be looked upon, then you can set up a uh, meeting with the mentor. Okay. For the complete term, you'll get five hours duration of mentorship, which you have to use very wisely. Okay. So do not uh, ask doubts that are directly related to the project. Ask doubts that are, uh, uh, you know, that are getting you stuck somewhere rather than asking them the entire concept. Okay. So that is how you make good use of uh, mentorship. All right. So what is will be done from our side? We'll let you know time to time. The payment portal and everything. Once it is open, we'll again let you know so you can start making payment. All right. And once you make payment, it will be a process in real time. So there won't be any window where you have to wait for. Okay. Uh, I think I've made this thing clear. If there are again any more doubt, you can please raise your hands. Mm, okay. So in chats. I think most of the things I have uh, cleared by speaking itself. Pending payment link is for the uh, for the payments uh, for this thing. Mentorship is not active. It was, but now it has it has been closed. But it will open again. Okay. Some sessions shared. Some calendars shared. Uh, okay. Mad one students will have to work on library management only. Okay. Your dashboard for Giant Twenty One will up, will update will be updated soon. Mad two students can work on uh, music streaming and library management version two. Okay. Any one of it. How much to pay for mentor? It will be around 2000, which uh, after completion of your mentorship, 1000 rupees would be refunded, something like that. Sir, when we paid for that link, it was only 1000, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's fine yeah. then. If you pay only 1000, then uh, no point of, I mean, then there is no question of refund and things like that. Okay, okay. Okay. So we have to see how what the pay, po, payment portal accepts. Okay. So if it is taking two thousand, then I think thousand will be refunded. If it is say, taking thousand, then uh, that that is the cost of mentors. Okay. Yeah. Like the twenty eighth Feb uh, deadline, right? The initial one. So during that I paid. It was only one thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. That payment link. Okay. You paid, it got registered, we'll see. Uh, okay, so we'll start processing those. I take in the bootcamp too. So I, I uh, paid for that and I paid for mentorship. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay, so I think most of the things I've covered in the chat also. Uh, if there are doubts, you can raise your hands. Yes, Prakash. Uh, sir, uh, actually I was uh, thought of taking bootcamp uh, for Mad2 project, but unfortunately I didn't receive any link or something. Is there, a, is there a possibility to have a MAD2 bootcamp in, in some time or in, in, So in, MAD1, it's not like MAD1 bootcamp or MAD2 bootcamp. There was bootcamp which happened for both the subjects. If there is a chance of having one more bootcamp, we'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So the bootcamp again that happened with uh, between 17 to 23rd Feb, that was for both the pro projects, MAD1 and MAD2. Okay, so while filling the form, you'll have to select the course, make the payment, and uh, do the thing. Okay, so if there is any I, bootcamp, I did that, but I didn't get the link for the payment for the Mad Two bootcamp. Uh, but okay. but I attended the Mad One bootcamp, and it was really helpful for me to complete the project. Mm. Uh, and, and I agreed, I completed it. I thought I can okay. I can take Mad Two, but unfortunately, I was not able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine, 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 fine. So something like that is possible. We will make the announcement and let you know. All right. Sure, sure, sure. Thanks a lot. So, by the way, what's your good name? I didn't, I didn't know because I joined. My name is Adarsh. Adarsh, yeah. Thank you, Yes, Arun. Yes, sir. My payment was successful, but uh, there is no update in my dashboard. Payment for what? Boot, uh, mentorship. Mentorship. Yeah, it will be. That's what I said, right? We will be processing those and it will be updated. So it won't be updated on your dashboard. Why would okay, it be? Thank you. So it is related to project, right? So mentorship will have nothing to do with your dashboard. Uh, no acknowledgement be given through dashboard. But uh, once your mentor is allotted, you will be added to a G space. You will be contacted by your mentors. Okay. And then uh, you can connect with them. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Anybody else? Any doubt?
okay so this uh, meeting was live streamed so you might have the youtube link also we will also share you the recording of this link in and most probably i think discourse would be the right uh, place to put it but i will also make sure that uh, uh, the link to or the recorded part of it is shared to all of you okay in some sense all right so we will share that if there are no more doubts we will end this i hope uh, uh, what mentorship is all about is clear okay all right so we will close it here uh, thanks everyone thanks for joining okay thank you thank you sir